Hey folks, back again today. Um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit today about two cool uh, Colts that I got. I don't know if they're really cool, but I really like them. One is my Colt 6920. Uh, this is a complete upper, um, but it's sitting on a different lower. Uh, it's actually, laugh at me, it's sitting on the Palmetto State lower. But it's a complete upper bolt carrier group, everything. Colt 6920. And I've got one that you don't see very often. It's a Colt 6940. Now, I have to say, the 6940 is my baby. Uh, out of all the rifles I've got, the 6940 is by far my favorite. And uh, I'll get into them here in just a little bit. But I'm gonna do an up close of each one of them and let you see the differences. All right, we're gonna do a little up close real quick. This is my 6920. It's a 16 inch uh, M4 style Colt. It does not have a free float rail. It comes with the regular plastic uh, heat shields or hand guards with the heat shields under them. Comes with the Delta ring and all that stuff. Comes with a fixed A2 front sight. It's just a standard M4 style uh, Colt. I have changed out the butt stop. I've changed out the grip. I've changed out the safety. I also have a set of Troy rails on there. If you'll look, I've also got my flashlight and my sling mounted on there. So this is just a stop, bare bones, um, no frills, Colt 6920. It's an excellent gun, and uh, I can't say enough good about them. Now the next one I'm gonna show you here, let me set this one out of the way, is gonna be my Colt 6940. Now this one looks similar. You can see it's got the quad rails on it. It's got a different front sight and sight block, uh, gas block, and it's got a different rear sight. Uh, I bought this gun back in 2000, I don't remember, 2006 or 2007, and uh, I've had it ever since. Uh, it has seen a lot of rounds. I'm going to start from the back and move forward. Uh, I've got this old uh, uh, Magpul stock on it. I replaced the grip with a uh, Daniel Defense grip. It's one of my favorites. It's got a ambi safety selector, which I like. It's got quad rails. It's got a folding front sight, and that's pretty much it. What makes this different from other Colts is that the rail is monolithic. That's what they call it. It's all one piece. There is no uh, separation between the upper receiver and the rails. Now that uh, come, that's a pro and that's also a con. A pro is it's free floated. It's all one piece of forged aluminum. It's super strong. And under full auto fire, you wouldn't get the same type of barrel droop as you would on a uh, non free floated rail. The con is you can never change this rail out. It is what it is. You've got it forever. Um, but this is hands down my favorite uh, AR that I've got. Let's go back up there and talk about it. Now let's talk about the 6940 first. Go ahead and make sure it's clear. It is uh, the 6940. Like I said, it's a monolithic one piece um, uh, upper receiver. Uh, it's a lot like the LMT monolithic up a receiver. Actually, Colt has to pay a royalty every time they would sell one of these um, because LMT filed a patent on it and before Colt could. And now every time Colt pays or builds one, they have to uh, um, uh, pay a royalty to LMT. I don't believe Colt makes these anymore. I haven't seen them around brand new for years and years. Um, but I'm gonna tell you what, these guns shoot lights out. 
Um, you can say what you want to about the carving length gas system and the 16 inch barrel, but I'm gonna tell you what, this thing shoots lights out. It is by far the most accurate uh, AR platform that I have. It's more accurate than my Geisley. It's more accurate than my BCM. It's more accurate than my Palmetto States. This thing shoots lights out. I did do a little bit of Cerakote work to the front there. It's OD green. And I had some different furniture on there when I was actually using it all the time. But uh, uh, this gun is an amazing gun. I love the rear sight on it. A lot of people don't like it. I do like it. Uh, it's it's easily adjusted uh, to two, three, four, five. I think it goes out to 600 meters. I think it goes out to, yep, 600 meters. You can adjust it out to 600 meters. Love this gun and the way it's set up. Can't say enough good about it. Now, in contrast, we've got this 6920 here which I actually still use. I don't use my 6940 anymore. Prices on them have, have gone up pretty high and I don't use it much anymore, but uh, still love it. Would if the prices didn't go up so freaking high on it. But this one, as you can see, is not monolithic. Uh, it's got the delta ring right here. So this handguard can come off. It can be replaced with the regular factory uh, plastic handguards with the heat shield, or you can leave these on there or you can take that front side off, put on a low pro gas block and run modern type rails on it. I like it just like it is because it's kind of, I guess you can say old school. Um, I don't know how, I don't know how I feel about calling this old school, but uh, I guess in AR terms, this setup kind of is old school. But um, these are my two rifles. This is not a free floated barrel like this one is. You can look down the front, you can tell this is free floated. You can tell this one is not. Free floated means that these rails attach only on the back. On the, in this case, the rails don't attach to anything. They're all one piece to the upper. But on most free floated rails, the rails will attach in the back to a barrel nut. On this one, uh, the rails, since they're not free floated, attach in the rear, under the delta ring, and in the front, under a little cup, right by the uh, A2 front sight. So, this gun is a no frills gun, but I'm tell you what, this is all you need if you want a good, reliable uh, M4 style um, AR. Um, Colt has received some criticism um, because they are behind the times as far as um, the more modern designs with hand guards and sights and things like that. Also, Colt still uses a uh, uh, carbine length gas block. They do, they still use a carbine length gas block. But there's one thing you can't say about a Colt, they work. They always work. Every Colt I've owned, every Colt I've shot, they just work. Does the carbine length gas system cause, uh, is it harder on the uh, gun? Yeah, it is harder on the gun. But I'll tell you this, the gun just works. It works. Whether you believe it or whether you don't, whether you want to admit it or whether you don't, this is the gold standard by which all other ARs were judged by. Um, yes, ARs have come a long way in the last 10 to 15 years, but when you judge an AR, most of the time they'll be judged by this right here. Um, not saying it's the best AR on the market. I'm not saying it's the worst AR on the market. I'm just saying this is what most ARs are judged by. For years, it was the gold standard. And to me, they just work. They just work. So uh, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build the membership up a little bit. If you disagree with something that I said, and in a little short video, I can't cover everything. I just have to go over the high points. But 
If you disagree with something I said, put it down there in the uh, comment section and I'll try to get back with you on it. But uh, again, support my friends over at uh, Downrange Hat Company, downrangehatcompany.com. Go over there and pick you out a hat or a shirt or something like that. And uh, thank you all for watching.